You know what? The guy stopped paying rent as well, you know. No, sorry. The guy had to get evicted, but he continued to pay the rent. That makes sense. So, some, this is what I'm saying. Yeah, this is why you can't rent out the whole entire property to somebody. Because some people, they don't want to leave. They don't want to leave. I've met people on this contract that I'm on, and they're talking about the reason why I'm in a, a council house, because that cunt of a landlord wanted to sell up. It's like, yo, big man, what are you talking about? It's his property or her property. If they want to sell the property, you got to leave. But that's the thing. Ne never buy a property with tenants in situ. You are looking for trouble, big man. Never buy a property with tenants in situ. You, you may as well just tell them, look, don't even bother paying their rent. Yeah, cut the bullshit. Cut all the bailiffs and that. Cut, cut me phoning you and chasing you. Cut all that bullshit. Just stop paying rent. Just don't pay rent at all, because that's what's going to happen. Yeah? Never buy a property with tenants in situ. You must be crazy. I would never do that. Yeah, obviously, tenants in situ is like guaranteed money. But at the same time, when it comes to the, moving them and getting them evicted and that, they're not going to want to leave. The fact that there's still tenants in situ... Listen, if you look at properties and that, yeah, on Zoopla, I always use Zoopla. You can go and look on right move if you want, but I use Zoopla. If you see tenants in situ, just know that for some reason, that tenant, I don't know what the conversation was between the landlord and the tenant and that, or the, the tenant and the estate agent, but that tenant doesn't want to move. Because why as a seller would you want to sell the property with tenants in situ? That's going to make it more difficult for whatever reason. Because think about it. If there's a property that's got tenants in situ, that means that if you are buying, a, if you're looking to buy the property to move in, well, you can't move in. If you have 100 people that are going to buy a property, and that, yeah, if there's tenants in situ, well, 70% of them might want to buy the property to live in. So now you've just removed 70% of people. 70 people will not be able to buy that property. And that. There's been a conversation that's been had between the estate agent and the um, tenant, yeah, which has obviously been relayed to the landlord and that. Those tenants don't want to leave. So if you take over that property and that, just know you're going to have a hard time getting them out. So what happens. You buy a property with tenants that have been in the property longer than you've owned it. They know more about the property than you. They know what floorboards creak from what floorboards don't creak. They know what doors don't lock properly. The locking mechanism shit on it. Yeah, they know what when you flush that toilet after two minutes, there's a water hammer sound, some loud horning sound. And I used to have that with the toilet downstairs in my house. I don't know. It's not like that now since I changed it. They know more about the property than you. So they feel like, oh, this is my house. Yeah, your name's on the, the mortgage deed and that. Officially, you're the owner of the property, but this is my house. That's how people think. So I'm never going to buy an old property with no tenants in situ. Fuck that, man. 